morning, everybody, and welcome to day 57 of A Year in My Life. I am starting the day off with a workout, so I'm going to head downstairs and get started. to meet one of my coaching clients. I've actually got two coaching clients coming today. One I'm gonna meet here at the Four Seasons. We're gonna have lunch and go over our first initial onboarding. And then I'm gonna go have another lunch with my second client at one of his favorite sushi spots that he wants to show me. So it's gonna be a busy morning, um, but I'm excited to meet two of my guys. And we actually get our whole program underway in about five days. So this is our, Yes, yeah, our onboarding meeting where we get to make sure everything we've done is up to speed, ready to go. I'm not sure if he wants to be on video or not yet, so we'll see. My coaching client requested to not be on video as of just yet, um, so I couldn't show that, but we just got through with our meeting there and I'm about to head to go meet my second client and have my second sushi lunch. <laughs> Hello. Thanks, sir. I just ate one of these whole, wow. This thing, do you remember what this roll was called? Orange Blossom. That's Orange Blossom? Mm -hmm. All right, so if you ever come here, guys, you gotta get the Orange Blossom. This thing is insane. That, I'm not even gonna go through the whole rating process. That place was incredible as far as sushi, so. Now my new favorite sushi spot in the San Francisco Bay Area. Well, actually we're across the bridge over in Oakland is Sushi House. Phenomenally large portions, tasty, fresh, I mean, good. Highly recommended if you're in if you're in this part of town, go check that place out and get that roll. I already forgot what the orange blossom, whatever that roll was, incredible. Um, so today it's about three o'clock right now. I have to go back to the Four Seasons, grab all my stuff and, and officially check out. And I'm gonna kill some time. I was supposed to fly back to Dallas tonight, but I'm gonna hop over to LA, go see one of my dealer friends over there, look at some inventory. Um, so I've changed that flight. I'm gonna hop on a JSX flight to get over to Sam, or to get over to LA tonight. Spend the night there, hang out during the day. Uh, still get a little bit of work done, meet some dealers. And then I'll head back to Dallas tomorrow. All right, on to the next city. All right, 
right, so since I picked my rental car up from uh, from SFO, I had to take that back to the airport. Now I went on an Uber to come pick me up and take me to the JSX airport, which is where I'm flying out of to go for a quick flight over to uh, LAX. So it's fucking cold. $100 to go 10 minutes. Fucking Uber. I got you. Thank you, sir. Uh, Every time you get here, we're raining, bro. No, I know, right? <laughs> so my boy is bringing me to this place called Thirsty Cow Thirsty Korean Cow. Barbecue. So I've had Korean barbecue, but he says this this is uh, on another level. So we'll see. Five people ahead of me. Yeah. 35 people here. Yeah, they just walk out because we're gonna send you a message once your table is ready. So they, they, they don't want to wait. So they just wait outside and then oh, just come back. It took like an hour to get here. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry we about don't that. No. Two and a half hour wait. So this must be pretty good. Jeez. Judging by the wait time, um, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna go ahead and rate this place. It was excellent. The food, phenomenal. The weight sucked, but worth it in the end. So I would highly recommend this place coming back, but maybe make a reservation or send a mule two hours ahead of time <laughs> to go get on the list. Because while I'm rating this very positively, I did not actually eat anything. So I don't physically know what it tastes like. Again, I'm just going off of assumptions that it was really, really good. And I would highly recommend this place. So we're gonna go find something else to eat. This is a like a cleanser for okay. your taste. Alright. Like a hella cleanser. So we have one portion here just for the guys. Put it wrong. Yeah. Thank you. Wagyu. Alright. Followed by this. What is this? I have no idea. What does it taste? I don't know how to explain it, but it's not bad. Here you go. The USDA prime ribeye tataki. Essentially, it's with smoked cherry blossom, gives it a nice earthy flavor, and then it's, with, it's dashed with ponzu. Okay. Are you ready? Ready. ready. Go. Three, two, one. This one I would actually eat. She said, but she said crab and custard. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna go so with. You, that's crab, you go. crab and so custard. You <laughs> if you know what this is, guys, drop it in the comments so I can read it because I didn't want to be stupid and ask her. <laughs> Looks good though. Okay. 
other. Is that right? So the 59.90 is discontinued. The right. steel version. Steel version continued. Five seven one was also discontinued, and we all know what Tiffany got. I've done or even Rolex. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I mean, I just sold an OP41 today for 35.5 to a retail seller. Oh my God, bro! Wow. All right, guys. So this is a multi-grain rice cracker, mm. and then this is our vegetable platter. It's very good. Thank you. Thank you. The cracker. That's a cracker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The cracker. This is cracker. Take the cracker and dip in the sauce like that. <laughs> Let me tilt this way. Oh yeah. Oh, I see better. There we go. That's a cracker. That'd be so awesome if they just continued this one too. Do you honestly think, well, they may literally just came out. I know. So I don't see that happening. I don't see it happening, but how cool would it be? But shit, man, I think Price you can get 450 seven. though. Price would go to 700. Oh, easy. Oh, <laughs> easy. I mean, yeah. that, then it would be hard not to sell. <laughs> Still probably wouldn't. I want to see the market is going to be like for next year, but I honestly would not be surprised if watch go for 450. Well, because hopefully they'll discontinue the 5980 in Rose. Man, they've been saying that forever. I know, but it's time. Like it, it's been it's been out since what 2009. Yeah, 2008, 2009, around there. My uh, my AD has one. Brand new, brand new. I put my name on it. But wow, I gotta buy some BS. Wow. I don't know if it makes sense or not. It's just hard that you have to get rid of the BS for. Right. You have to sit on it, or if you want to dump it. Oh, sorry about that. You, you want to dump it, good. you got to dump it real fast. What brands? Pretty good. I definitely see Omegas, um, Panerai's, Roger DeBras, Piaget, stuff like that. Hey guys, these are oxtail soup. On top, we have a beef terrine. At the bottom, we have cooked daikon. Thank you. Oh, by the way, you want an iced tea? Yeah, let me get, can I get a Japanese iced tea and also a Japanese lemon? Thank you. Well, so mine's not just food. Uh -huh. It's like uh, I'm a watch dealer, so it's like the life of a watch dealer. Watch so it's like my a watch, like high-end watches. Oh, okay. I buy and sell watches. Thank you, sir. But I do. It's like random. Like it's it's every single day. And so like today's video was me Christmas shopping. The day before that mm -hmm. was a phone call with a client. The day before that oh, it's, was it's oh, well, anything. my business partner got robbed for a million dollars. So this is a scallion. So you want to put that on top? On top and then wrap it around like a taco. Yeah, just a little bit. It's just for flavor. Is it, is it? Okay. Yeah, that's good. And then wrap it up like a taco? Yep. There you go. Look at that. This is like that sauce. The place I go eat the at sushi place in Long Beach. He has this chimichurri style wasabi. It's kind of similar to that. Yeah, it's good. Nice Give it a kick. kick. Nice little kick. Yep, that's good. I would do that again. So for our next dish, it's going to be our beef set. So towards my right is going to be our USC primer by Insight. Uh, Beef tends to be a lot more lean compared to the other portions. Nice. Uh, towards uh, my left is going to be the USA Prime Ribeye Cap. It's going to be the outer portion of the ribeye, so it's going to be a lot more tender, a little bit more uh, soft. Also okay. Texture. And then, and then the right center. in the center is going to be our Snake River Farm American Wagyu uh, Boneless Short Nice. So I'm going to be cooking in that order. Okay.
our USA prime Lingyong. Okay. Come to the Yakiniku sauce and the And we want to pair that with our bone marrow rice. Bone marrow, we spread a uh, garlic miso on top. Uh, we bake it again. And then we mix it with our rice, kimchi, and nori. Okay. And since you are pretty adventurous, we do offer uh, bone marrow shots as well. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tried that before. You, you, you can try it, it out. Is it good? Yeah, it's a bone That's marrow good. shot. I tried bone it marrow shot. Good. Yeah. So we're going to take a shot of uh, Japanese whiskey out of this. The bone. Oh, I don't drink, so. Oh, you don't? I, I don't drink, so. I mean, we can do water as well. Fuck it. Huh? It's, only, it's only for adventurous people, right? Yeah. Well, I gotta try it. You have Red Bull? Try everything once. Do you have Red we Bull? Have Red Bull. No. You do not have Red Bull, okay. We have uh, green tea, we have water, we have soda, no soda. I'll do Sprite. Do you have Sprite? We can do Sprite. Sprite, just to make it interesting. I'll do that. Fuck it, I'm adventurous. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a Sprite shot out of a bone. Bone marrow with kimchi fried rice, and this is U.S. or is this choice? Kimchi prime, oh, prime. Prime. course before dessert so this must be the best Here's a pineapple right, sorbet, good, comes boy. with a ginger jelly, uh, yogurt mousse, crushed yeah. meringue, top it off, and lime zest. This is the I'll first round. Of so that's clever, right here. That is how you win a customer. Good job, buddy. Good job. All right. All right this is going to be a little different. You, know, you want to put the whole thing in your mouth and then bite into it. This thing? It's going to get pretty messy. Bite the whole thing into it? Oh, no, no. I'll put it, the whole thing in your mouth and then bite into it. Yeah, close your mouth and bite into it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like green tea? Yeah. Is it? So it's like a matcha with black chocolate. Okay. Now when you know what it is, it's it it's better. good. Yeah. Now it tastes good. <laughs> when you oh, when yeah. you expect it. <laughs> when you don't expect it, it's weird. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was awesome. Thank you. You guys know what time it is. It's time for the review. Uh, I'm going to keep it short. 10 out of 10. I would absolutely come back. Experience. 
amazing and that's what I rate places on. The food can be subpar if the experience is amazing. The food was far from subpar. It was actually perfect. Um, I've been to, hang on one second. I've done a few Korean barbecue places in my time and they're good. Uh, the food here, excellent. The experience, top notch. Uh, highly recommend it. I'm gonna tag, the, what was it called? Yakia. Yakia, and where are we at? Uh, Roland Heights. Roland, what do you say? Roland. Roland? Yeah, R-O-W-L-A-N-D, Roland. 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 Roland Heights. Yeah, right. I gotta learn my California places before I become a resident. But, Yakia and Roland Heights, try it out. Uh, it was cool. Uh, I like that the whole restaurant is eating the same thing and it's being coursed out um, appropriately. So I loved it. It was a lot of food. It was good, reasonably priced, I thought. So I'll come back. Absolutely.